All right, let's dance. Um, all right, so I'm here with Manuel. So I got an email from Manuel. And when did you get the course, man? Uh, I got it at the like very beginning of September. Okay. Uh, September so, 6th. So <laughs> it's been like two weeks. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It was like right before September. Like, yeah. It's yeah. Been two, two, three, three weeks it's been. Okay, yeah. So I got an email from him uh, just yesterday, the day before maybe. And he, he sent me some crazy stuff about his results. So making, you know, he sends me this thing out. Um, here's my salary. Here's the commission I'm making in my current job. He's making, he's killing it in his current job. And he even said that he's like, a lot of people would see that comp plan and be like, what are you doing? Why are you start leaving that to start a business? And his results have been insane. So I'm not going to spoil the, you know, I'm not going to spoil the results. I'll let him share about them. But anyways, um, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's really possible in this business? How much can I expect to make? And that question always kind of annoys me because it, 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 there's no, it's not like a job, you know, it's a business like, well, you can make zero or you could, you know, absolutely kill it. Um, so I thought this would be interesting because, you know, you're kind of someone who's showing, Hey, here's what's possible, um, in a short amount of time, you know, and there's a lot of, obviously a lot of time ahead of you where you're going to be building this business and making cool things happen. But, um, just want to highlight and, you know, highlight somebody who take, took this program and like took this business and is just crushing it. So super excited to do that. So thanks for coming on, man, and and sharing this. Um, so yeah, what first of all, man, why don't you just give a quick background, like what were you doing, and then how in the world did you even come across Painting Business Pro? Why did you start it? And before, just just for anybody who's watching the video, they might be curious, like what kind of results you're producing. So um, I'll just let you share for a minute, and then I'll just start asking questions and sure. hear a little bit more about it, man. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, I'm 32. Uh, I just turned 32 September 12th. Uh, I've been, uh, I started in real estate uh, school. I, I went to real estate school, got my license, uh, crushed it before the 2008, uh, you know, recession. Man, if you worked at McDonald's and had uh, a job for six months, I got you approved and, and I was selling you a house. But, you know, that dream didn't last very long. It market crashed. And, uh, you know, I went from making 120, $130,000 a year to making nothing. And, uh, I was like, Holy shit, man, there, you know, I got, I got to make a living cause I'm, now I'm living this lifestyle that I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forwards. So, uh, actually one of the guys I sold a copier, I mean, a house to uh, commercial building to sold copiers. And, uh, he asked me, Hey man, if you're really looking for somewhere to get, you know, I could use your potential. And, Got to the copier business, and uh, I've been doing that for the past eight years. Um, and you know, uh, copier business is a is a tough grind. I mean, it's a it's a day to day grind. You got to make the cold calls. I make 20, 30 cold calls every day. Uh, in person cold calls. In person cold calls, business to business, and uh, you know, you get a lot of bullshit. But all that negativity has got to be like water on a duck's back, man. You can't let that bother you. But I make a great living because. It, it's all about renewals. Um, so once you get a uh, get an account, their leases. So every three years or 36, 48, 60 month leases, they turn over and you want to get to the point where you're just, you know, just renewing. Uh, I'm not like that. I, I like to get the new business. Uh, I'm a little odd duck, man. I enjoy the cold call. That's the thrill of me closing the deal. That's easy. You know, I, I like the thrill of it. So trying to find the deal and get the deal and get them hooked and it's relationship building. So anyhow, so you know, sales for eight years. Yeah. I've been my whole life. I, I started right. but specifically to copy your sales eight years. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then how did uh, you come across pay, the pay? And by the way, real quick, what, what's just cause I think it's relevant. You know, the, what you said in your email, like you're making, you're making pretty good money. I mean, how much money are you making at copiers and why did you even consider going into the painting business? So average, I make about 155, 165, uh, 155, 165,000 a year. Uh, my best year was 178. Um, I have, man, I got my own, my cell phones paid for. I get gas reimbursed. Uh, yeah, so it's a good comp plan. Yeah. Oh, you know, you're God. making, I'm, making great money. So yeah. why did you even consider the painting business and so like, how did that even end up happening? All right. So here's what happened was, uh, I was my, so I'm, I'm from Guatemala. And uh, my brother actually has a roofing company. And my brother, man, he, you know, way smarter than I am. And he, he started kind of doing a little bit of a painting company. And he was like, man, there's a lot of money in it. 
and he told me this years ago, years ago. And uh, I said, yeah, but, you know, I don't know how to fucking paint, <laughs> you know? And he's like, you don't need to know how to paint. He's like, you dumbass, you speak Spanish, you know? He's like, get these guys working and, you know, you can get, get to work. And I just ignored it because, you know, I, I was comfortable. Uh, but that, that I, I'm sick of being comfortable, you know? And, and maybe that might sound crazy to some people that, you know, I, the money I'm making, that's not, the small potatoes. It really is because more money, more problems. You know, uh, the, the mortgage is bigger, the, the, the kids spend more, you know, it's just, it, it, it's not, you know, anyway. So, so you decided he decided at some point that you wanted to get into this? Yeah, well, you know, I was, I was really debating and I don't do anything just shooting from the hip. Uh, I, I think about it. And uh, so I was talking to my brother about, you know, possibly getting in the roofing business. And he said, man, you can come, come with me anytime. You know, he's like, I'd love to have you. You're a great sales guy. He said, I'll let you buy into the business. And uh, I kind of thought about that. I was like, no, I want to do my own thing. And uh, so I started looking and I remember what he said about the painting business. And so I started looking and looking and looking and looking. And so uh, what I did is uh, I just called a couple painters and got them to come give me quotes. And, uh, and man, I was shocked, you know, uh, I was shocked at the numbers I was getting, but I was absolutely shocked by the unprofessionalism I was receiving. I mean, I was absolutely astonished. I was like, man, if I had a guy, and I, I legitimately needed my house painted, you know? And uh, so none of these guys called me back. None of them gave me a quote. Uh, and I did it purposely to see how competitive it was. You know, I, I, was, I, I, did, I went online and did that. So, and these guys were giving me crazy figures, but, you know, nobody was showing up to do the work. I finally, you know, I hired the only guy that I let, I was going to pick the guy that followed up with me at least three times. And this SOB followed up with me like five times. And dude, yeah. uh, and I paid full price for it. And I, yeah. I didn't pop them down or nothing. But after that, I just talked to him. I shot him straight because they knocked it out in two days. Uh, and uh, they, they knocked out my house two days, $6,500. And uh, it was two guys. I mean, they went in there, spray, they sprayed all outside, uh, you know, just absolutely not. When was this? Uh, this was uh, in April. Hey, and also, can you turn your volume down a little? There's a little bit of feedback. Yeah, hold on. So, just a little. So obviously, you still want to hear me, but I want to make sure it's not hard to listen to this. So, is that better? I think so. So, you were uh, April. Um, is when that happened and then you started doing research or something? Yeah. So I, I, I was doing research January, February, and then that just kind of like, you know, just looking around. And then that's when I got them to come give me quotes because I thought to myself, all right, if I'm going to get into this business, I want to see what kind of money, you know, if this, cause I, I live in a modest home, you know, I'm like, what, what would a modest guy pay, right. you know, for a, for a job like this. And uh, you know, I got quotes from, you know, from, 3,500 to 6,500, but. So fast forward to last, the last couple months or like when you started finding me and deciding to actually pull the trigger on this. So I started looking up painting business, how to start your own painting business. I saw Serta Pro. I considered Serta Pro and I was like, man, that's a rip off. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I actually talked to the guys, you know, and then I started looking at your program and I'm like, okay, uh, this guy's making sense. Like everything you're saying is making sense. And I just kept watching all your YouTube videos, all your YouTube videos. And uh, your email came in. <laughs> it said, you know, I'm a businessman. I'm not going to give away all my good stuff online on the videos. I give away a lot of stuff, but all my good stuff's in my program. I'm like, well, that makes fucking sense. Uh, so I thought to myself, man, I I've spent, you know, thousands of dollars on stupid other shit, man. Why not, why not take a risk on this? You know? And I said, this is a legitimate, you know, uh, what I see a legitimate guy out here that's created a, a, a network, a, a business, and he's just trying to share the wealth. And I did research, a lot of research on you, man. And, and I did a lot of research on, on, on uh, your school you went to and what they do. And man, so I'm like, all right, this guy's legit. Um, so let me try him out. So, uh, you know, I, I went ahead and signed up for your program and I watched it and I'm like, holy shit, man, all this is a sales, you know, this is it, you know, this is what I do. Uh, cause I was so worried about how am I going to find employees? How am I going to keep them on the payroll? You know, cause 
workers want to work, man. They, you know, they, they don't want to sit at home and be like, Hey, just wait, let me build my business while I get you to work. So I started watching your program, watching your program. Uh, and, uh, it was my birthday gift to myself. So, uh, I bought it right at the, right at the beginning of September, my birthday, September 12th. I bought it to myself. I told my, I told my old lady, I said, I'm property painters dot Chattanooga, right? Property painters dot Chattanooga. Yeah. You bought it on a, uh, August 31st, Saturday, August 31st. There you go. Yeah. So I bought it August 31st and, uh, and man, what is it right now? The, the 19th, uh, yeah, it's the 19th, uh, my, my very first job, uh, I got was 9,800 bucks. Uh, and I was like, I, I, I couldn't, well, I had not, not, not my first job. I'm sorry. My first couple of jobs. I'm, I'm looking at my numbers right here. Cause man, it's been all over the place. Uh, I did four jobs in less than a month at 9,800. Uh, and then I've got right now, I've got another uh, additional jobs and I already collected the non-refundable deposits at 25% uh, for 38 K in revenue. And, uh, on the, my first four jobs, man, I collected 50%. Uh, man, and these guys knocked it out. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, one job they knocked out in one day, not the other job they knocked out in two days. And uh, I'm fortunate, you know, I speak Spanish fluently. And, you know, I know if you put this on YouTube, I don't want to, you know, offend any Look, reality. You, you know. got, well, there's a lot of good yeah. painters out there, but the bottom line is you got a good, a really good subcontracting crew. Yeah. Yeah. And they're knocking out jobs. So they're making good money because they're knocking out good sized jobs in like a day or two. So they're, they're making good money. You're right. making good money. You're at 50% margins on the first 9,800 was about 4,500 bucks, 4,400 bucks. Cause you got everything door to door, right? Everything, every single thing is door to door. Yeah. So you haven't spent a dime on marketing until you Not spent one dime. services. The, the only money I spent was, uh, after the first job, I went and got t-shirts and signs and I did exactly what you told me to do, man. You yeah. know, make sure everybody knows. Now I started flying the, the neighborhood right after, man, I, I followed your program step by step by step. I mean, I'm like, if this guy knows what he's talking about, just follow the program. And when I got to the sales part, that's when I was like, all right, it's on, you know? And, uh, man, I, I I even didn't, even, I didn't go get a nice fancy flyer or nothing. I did the ghetto flyer, man. Cause yep. it made sense. You're like, you, you, you've actually experienced it. And that's my whole thing for anybody that's down in this program whatsoever. If, if you just learn in, in, in anything in life, if you learn from people's mistakes, you avoid making those mistakes. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, you know, why, why would you try to go do something else different? If this guy's telling you that shit don't work. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, you know, I followed yours step by step and I did, I mean, I practiced that pitch until I got it. I mean, down to the science to where it, my pen to clipboard motion. I, I heard that Mary story, you know, and how it just was, dude, I just did that. Cause I'm a sales guy. That's what I do. I know all about the pitch. I know about the psychology. I know all about it. And man, I just applied it to that. And uh, man, I started going and I work a full-time job and you know, I got to have my downtime Saturday and Sunday is the only time I do it. I don't worry about my subcontractors. That's the only thing that I'm kind of like, man, I need to go check up on them and follow up on them. But all the jobs they do, they knock out, get it done. Cause they want more, you know, they clean up, they make sure everything's handled. I don't have to worry about them stealing my employees. Cause I mean, my, uh, my work is uh, they can't really talk to them. Uh, and nor do they care. You know, they, they, man, they're just ready. Uh, I'm, I'm actually wrapping the guy's uh, van right now. I don't even own his van, but I asked if I could wrap it. And he said, absolutely. And, uh, you know, because I know he's not going nowhere because uh, I'm going to keep him busy. And, uh, you know, it, if anybody's out there doubting it, man, it, you hear the money I'm making, man, dude. I, I, yeah. I, I'm making good money. I'm going to... I, I don't know where I'm going, man, but it's going, I, I'll be up at the top. I promise you that. Well, it's, you're based on your numbers when you assuming, which is an assumption, but it sounds like your production's going really smooth so far through four jobs. If you continue to make 50% margins, when you produce this other 38 K you'll be at 23,900. Correct. Um, in income in about your first month or so. It's which like, is, it, it breaks down to about $1,500 an hour. That's what you said. Yeah. Not including any additional time you're going to put in. So just, just so I can put my caveat on it. 
Um, cause that sounds unreal to people. And so it's like, yeah, probably not quite 1500 an hour. Cause there's going to be a little more time to put into those jobs coming up, but it doesn't even matter, man. You, that's, that's insane. It, $700 an hour is insane. Yeah. It's um, and so let's see, you said he's done 42 estimates, um, which is pretty awesome. He's been crushing, crushing out a lot of estimates there. Um, it's all a numbers game, man. Yep. Yep. No, it is. It is. That's awesome, man. So, um, let's talk about, so anyways, pretty, pretty exciting first couple of months. So, uh, about $47,000 in sales in your first, uh, 19 days. And that includes going through the course, by the way, what was, uh, what was just your, your initial impression of the course, you know, before you bought it, you know, you had whatever thoughts you had about it, like obviously you believed in it, but then once you kind of went through it, what was your impression of it? And, um, uh, uh what I thought about it was, man, uh, I genuinely felt like you really cared about really showing people, you know what I mean? Like really, you, you genuinely care. Like if you didn't give a shit, then why would you do it? And, and I, I could tell you, I knew what you were talking about. Like I could tell that those were all experiences and just like the ghetto flyer, you know, cause I'm like, why in the world would I go spend, you know, and I'm a copier guy, so I can print all the ones I want, you know, yeah. and I'm like, I could have made a real nice flyer, but why do that if I can just do a black and white flyer, you know, and uh, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, there's a couple things that like, for instance, uh, the proposal, you know, uh, that those are the couple things that like, I kind of want I modified my own proposal just because, yeah. uh, you know, I from my sales experience, man, I'm all about closing the deal right then and there. And I, I push that paper, man. And I get, I get that commitment, you know, I'm like, I want them right now. So I love the 25% deposit. That was a kind of, that was one little, like, I'm never scared to ask for a deal, you know, I mean, in sales, if you don't ask, you don't have, you know? So that was the only hurdle that I've kind of been worried about is collecting this people's money. You know, it's like, uh, I kind of don't like that feeling of having these people money, but, you know, I, I keep an escrow account, you know, just in case, you know, I get hit by a bus or whatever, uh, you know, I, I got, it's taken care of, you know, they can get the yep. money back or whatever. But, uh, you know, I get that commitment. The, the, that's the only thing I don't like about your program was the proposal part. Um, other than that, like, it, it's dummy proof, dude. I mean, dummy proof. I, I wish I would have found this years ago. I mean, yeah. years ago, I would have been out of this business a long time ago. And man, I, I, I don't get me wrong. I love what I do for a living, but it's, it's a job. I'm it's, it's, if my boss calls me, I got to go, you know, and I'm just sick of that feeling, man. I'm sick of, you know, I, I can only, I'm, I'm capped out, you know, as a copier guy, yeah. you're not going to make over 200,000. It's just not happening. Even major accounts, you know, yeah. and, uh, it's just not going to happen. It doesn't matter if I work 60, 70 hours a week. It's just not going to happen. Um, and dude, I'm on track to do that my first year here. Yep. You know, I mean, that's the, the, it's incredible, incredible. I mean, I could not believe 19 days, dude. And, I, and I'm doing this on Saturday and Sunday. Like that's right. it. That's it. No other time. I don't, I don't have any other time. Yeah. No, that's awesome, man. I'm super excited for you. So, um, we'll, we're going to keep this a little short, so I'm going to cut this, uh, I'm going to end this here. We'll, we'll just have to touch base, man, in another six months or something. Cause I think that'd be really interesting to follow up. I'm going to follow up with some of the other guys who have been like success stories just to, you know, kind of chart, chart that journey. I think that's going to be really cool to see. And also just to share like people's learning lessons, you know, there's going to be these things you run into and, you know, just to keep sharing, sharing those learning lessons, I think it's going to be really good. Yeah. So. And so, before you go off, I, I do want to tell to like, if, since you're putting it out on everybody, man, if you doubt this program, by all means, listen to me. I, don't doubt it. It works. The shit works. I mean, just do it. Just quit bullshitting. Quit, quit second guessing yourself. Get out there. Do it. Get your little ghetto flyer. Hit these doors. And get after it, man. And and now I'm the money I did make. Now I'm sinking it into craft Jack to your pro into your lead generator. Yeah. Now I got money to make money because a lot of people are like, Hey, I don't have any money to start off, man. You have, you actually offer a payment program for your program. So dude, you don't have 300 bucks. I mean, who doesn't have 300 bucks? Yeah. 
start off with that and then boom, you're done. You get after it. Yep. No, dude, I think it's awesome, man. And I, I, you know, like I said, and I'll say this in the emails I send out and I'll put in the YouTube video, this is not like typical results, but what I think is really good to highlight is, is first of all, you know, Manuel's got obviously this experience in sales, which I think is, is huge. Obviously you know how to sell, which is important, but also the big thing I want to highlight, man, is that you actually like, you got the program, you've gone through it. The fact that you're referencing all these little things tells me you're just, you're following the thing to a T. And I've always told people like you sign up, the people who follow it to a T are the people who are the most successful. The people who follow it less are less successful. And all the questions, it always amazes me, man. All these questions I get from people, 90% of the time, I'm like, the answer is already in the program. They're like, hey, how do you deal with this? I'm like, I've already taught you. It's in the program. Um, you know, our company is going to do about 6 to 6.5 million this year across our companies. But it'll do about 3.3, 3.5. And we're still basically following what's in the program. We've gotten a lot more detailed over the years and we're, con we're always continuing to improve our system. So, you know, the proposal, you built that and every system that's in my program, use it as a foundation, keep building on those and making them more your own and all that stuff too. But, um, you know, fundamentally what's in that program is exactly the way we're still doing things today. We just have to adapt them because of how much bigger we are. But, um, yeah. and, I think that's what you did well, man. It's awesome. Right. And, you're, and, and thank you. I appreciate that. And I, I really appreciate you not being, uh, you know, you could be a dick and not share this with anybody and be like, I'm a whore the more. Why would I share this? But there's so much business out there to get. And, and just to add to this, I literally drove two streets over from my house. I've gotten all this business in two streets, Yeah, two streets. Well, that's great. I, I mean, two streets from my house. So I don't have to go far, you know, and, and the business is right there. And I, I feel like I would be doing more but I, I don't want my company right now to be like, what the hell are you doing? You know, even though I know I'm doing it on the side, uh, I, you know, once I start getting enough to where I can supplement, I'll do it full time. But man, you follow it to a T that, that door to door marketing, it's free marketing. It's by yourself. It's a numbers game. Follow it to a T hand the flyer, do it exactly like you do it, dude. I do not. I, I, and I even tested it. I was like, let me try to do something different. And I got door slammed in my face, you know? And I'm like, yeah, he was right. Let me go right back to it, you know? And I just did it just, just for shits and giggles, you know? Yeah. I was like, well, let me see if I could do something different just because I'm a sales guy. And I'm like, no, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Boom. Gets their ten. I mean, I nail it, dude, every time. I'm, I'm, and I'm getting estimates every time. They don't all turn into uh, deals, but right. out of 42, man, you know, I got a pretty good closing ratio. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. Awesome, man. Well, Hey, thanks for coming on. We'll, we'll do uh, I'll still talk with you in a sec, but I'm going to end the thing here and uh, we'll do a follow up with Manuel in a little bit. And if you have questions, just hit me up. Okay.